Hey guys, how's it going? Laura with Garden Answer. Today I want to show you what's in my garden cart. So I've seen a lot of videos similar to this where people show you like what's in their purse or some tech reviewers show you what's on their phone, but I thought it would be fun to show you what's in my cart because these are the things that I find myself using the most often. Now it does kind of vary depending on what season it is. So this is kind of like the fall edition because there's a couple things in here I don't normally have in there through the a good part of the summer. Um, but this is actually a trailer attached to our lawn tractor. This is Aaron's lawnmower right here. And I've kind of commandeered this whole thing. He ordered this trailer to haul wood and it's kind of become mine. We do have a two acre garden. So this is the most efficient way for me to move around in here, haul things. Um, you know, I put pots in here a lot. Um, as well as garden debris and I can move it easily without it being so physically taxing. Now I know a lot of people, you know, depending on the size of your yard, maybe you just have a bucket and you put a lot of your tools in there. It can all be scaled differently depending on the size of yard you have. So I'm just gonna start right in with the first thing. This is my kneeling pad. Um, this is a Tommy Co kneeling pad, which I believe the company has recently discontinued this one because it is, I think, kind of uh, cost prohibitive to uh, produce because of the size of it. Uh, Aaron has been talking with the president of the company and we're hoping to bring it back either as a garden answer kneeling pad or maybe we can talk him into bringing it back somehow. So the reason why I like this one is because of the size. Oftentimes I find myself in the garden not only on my knees but also on my ankles like this. So I can sit on it like this and I can be very comfortable without getting a bunch of mulch and junk all over my ankle and pants and my shoes. But you know I'm doing weeding and um, you know uh, planting bulbs and stuff like that. So to have this size, it's just perfect. I recently saw a kneeling pad from Gardener Supply that my dad just brought in at the garden center and it's like this thick and it's pretty good size too. So I might try that one out if the Tomiko thing doesn't work out, but that is the first thing. And this one is in my cart all year round. Next up is this bucket. Um, I keep this in here just for my smaller items. So things like gloves. So these right here are Atlas Nitro Gloves. I'm not a huge lover of gloves just because I don't like feeling like I can't feel what I'm working on. Um, and that's the reason I like these because they're so thin. I feel like I haven't lost all my dexterity. You know, I can still do some fine work. Um, I don't wear them all the time, but a good portion of the time. And I usually wear, like I think I have pretty average size hands. I usually wear a small, when I'm pregnant, I wear a medium. <laughs> I had to buy a whole bunch of new gloves last year when I was pregnant with Benjamin. Um, but I go through maybe like three to five pair of these a year. Um, now keep in mind that gardening is my job. I mean, I garden like crazy. So, uh, and with how light and thin these are, I feel like that's pretty good. Um, next up in the bucket, I've got my pruners. These are Felco 2s, you can see right there. Um, these I've been using forever. In fact, I still, you can see my name on there. I wrote my name on them when I worked down at the garden center a lot more. Um, and I didn't want anybody to steal them <laughs> because we all had our own pair of Falcos. In fact, that was the first thing when I became a like real legitimate employee down there, not just watering on the weekends, helping my parents out. Um, that was the first thing my parents issued me was my own pair of Falcos. Uh, and they are just like, they fit my hand really nicely and I can open and close them really easily with one hand. It's like they, they're like second nature to me. Um, I have a, another pair right up here. In fact, I think I have three or four pair here at home scattered around because our barn and our house are kind of you know far apart from each other so it's nice to have a pair within you know an easy distance. Uh, next up in here is my hand trowel which you can barely see the brand anymore. You can see how much I've used this. It does say Gardener Supply Company underneath there but I, I think that this has a specific name too, a specific kind of trowel. The reason I like this one this year and this is the first year I've really put it to the test is that because of its width it's easy to remove a lot of soil from a hole. And as you guys know, I plant a lot of four inch size annuals. So this makes it a lot quicker. Um, I've also used the Fiskars big knife, or I think it's called, it's a, it's a trowel that's got a serrated edge on one side. So you can cut through roots if you've got a lot of that going on in your landscape. Um, but I've used this one pretty much primarily, like this is my primary trowel this year. Uh, other things in here, like I've got an extra battery for a couple tools I'll show you in a minute. There's some random irrigation supplies like landscape staples and stuff to hold my tubing down. Um, so let's move on to some of my bigger stuff. This is the Fiskars garden debris bag. This is a 30 gallon size with the hard shell bottom. Um, so you can see I've got it collapsed down and that's one of the reasons I like it so much. 
because it stores really easy and it's easy to, it's got these like toggles. There's one on each side. So here's the other one. It unclasps easy. It pops up like this. I can fill it up easily. Like it fits in this trailer really nice. See, it also fits on my regular green garden cart. Um, like it, it's the kind that's just flat with no sides. It fits really nicely. But the main thing I like about this the most, oh look, there's no, see them? <laughs> The main thing I like about this one is that I can drag it because of that hard bottom and it doesn't hurt the bag. So I can fill it up and I just take off and it's not going to wreck my bag, which is so nice because I tend to fill this up with really heavy stuff. Like, don't we all? I always think that I can like lift a lot more than I really can. So I'm just going to reclasp it really quick. It also hangs like we've got pegboard in our barn and it ha hangs really nicely on that. Next up, now this is something that's not in here year round, like it's not in my cart during the summer months, but these are leaf scoops, relief leaf scoops. And this was one of the very first things a company sent us after we started making videos. Uh, and I felt so special. When we got these in the mail, I was just like so elated. Uh, and I think we did a video. Yeah, I think we did a mail time video opening this and maybe, maybe one other thing, it might've just been these. Um, but it was just such a fun thing and they've become an indispensable tool because I can rake stuff up into a great big pile and then I can just take after it with these and I can lift up so much stuff with these scoops. Um, and I've tried out other kinds like that are similar, but the plastic seems to always be so flimsy and these are really rigid. So I can do a lot of leaves and I even removed some native cactus that we had a patch of it in one area of our garden where I didn't want it. And I could just like, like pick it up, no problem. I didn't get poked at all. So these are in my cart throughout the fall months when I'm doing lots of cleanup and in the spring. Um, next up, I've got this shovel. This is a Radius Pro Light Floral Shovel. I like it because the size is really convenient. I wasn't even sure when I initially started using this. I even told Aaron, like, I don't think I'm gonna like this shovel. This is weird. I'm just used to having a straight, shovel handle and I really like it. Like I'm used to it now and it's just very comfortable to use. I also like the fact that the shovel part, which I need to be better about cleaning my tools, you guys, but um, the shovel is nice and narrow. When you've got really established plantings, like a lot of shrubs and perennials you're working around, it's nice not to have to use a full size shovel. You can just get in there really easily. Um, I usually plant anything three gallon size and under with this shovel. I do have a full size shovel, a couple of them in the barn that I'll use for bigger projects like five gallon size and up. Uh, next up is one other tool that's only in here in fall and spring typically. You can see I've been using it. This is the, my most used rake. So I believe this is the brand called Bond. I've had this rake forever. In fact, it came with like a little plastic grip handle that's since fallen off. But see, it's got this little lever that you can fold the rake up really skinny or you can extend it out like that. So that means you can either rake in like nice big areas that are nice and wide and open, or if you need to get between plants or in a really tight spot, you can make that rake a lot smaller and that way it fits easier. The other reason why I like this rake is not really like for grass use. Like if I'm raking a big open area of grass, I'll use a legitimate leaf rake, the big plastic ones, because they work the best for that, that type of situation. But when you've got a lot of gravel, this is the type of rake that's nice because the tines are really thin and they're very flexible. So they don't dislodge your rocks everywhere. And that's something that we learned down at the garden center. We've been using this type of rake down there for as long as I can remember because it makes the least amount of mess. Um, and the fact that you can do this and store it easily is really nice. Okay, last two things are these two DeWalt tools. This is a 20 volt max blower. Um, I always have this with me because I make such a mess. Uh, so I can clean up after myself. I like to have really tidy sidewalks too, um, most of the time. So like during the summer, spring, summer, and beginning of fall, like right now I'm not worried about it too much because the leaves are just falling like crazy, but I like to go every day and blow off the sidewalks and to kind of start with a uh, clean, like fresh blank slate on the sidewalks. It's also really handy for raking. So right now when the leaves are dry, I'll go through flower beds and I'll use this to actually rake up leaves. So let me demonstrate right here in the uh, 
driveway. So I can use this in all different types of areas to blow up dry leaves into a nice big pile. Then I can take my leaf scoops, grab it up and put them in my bag and take off. And it take, like cuts the amount of time I spend cleaning up at least in half and it's way less physically taxing. And I do use this, like I said, in flower beds. If the leaves are dry, I'll kind of like half power it with my finger. I won't go all the way, um, like pull the trigger all the way. But if you do half power, it'll pick up those dry leaves without dislodging all of your mulch. And you can get most of them, like I'll blow a lot of them out into the grass right before the grass is gonna be mowed so that the mower can pick up a lot of the leaves. Anything to cut down on leaf removal this time of year because we have a ton of trees and it can be a lot of work. Um, the last thing here, this is also a 20 volt max uh, DeWalt hedge trimmer. Now um, we did both DeWalt tools on this because they share batteries. Um, and that's so nice. That was really important really to Aaron when he was starting to set me up. I probably wouldn't have these, like these seem fancy to me and it makes the job so much easier, so worth the money. Oh my word, so worth the money. But he was like, you know what, we need to pick a brand and just go with it so that we can utilize the batteries. And it might be kind of confusing that this is a 20 volt tool and you see a 60 volt battery. And that's another reason why he chose this because you can interchange like DeWalt batteries, you can use whatever. Um, as long as, De as it's DeWalt, you can use a 60 volt and a 20 volt and it works great. So this has a 22 inch trimmer. And I use this not only for trimming hedges, but I also use it for a lot of my perennial cutback, um, perennial grasses, any type of flowering perennials, I just go in and like mow them down. It's so nice and fast. And then I can go in with my rake, rake it up into a pile quick, use my grabbers, put it in my bag and take them away. Um, I do a lot of my, my cleanup, like garden cleanup in the fall. And I know that's a little bit frowned upon by some gardeners, they say to leave, leave it through the winter, which I can totally see that. If you leave the tops of plants, it does protect the crown of your plant, which can help them overwinter better. It also provides forage and things for wildlife. You don't wanna leave any foliage of plants that are prone to specific diseases or prone to insects, or if they've had an insect problem, get rid of that foliage. Don't let that overwinter. Like I always remove all hosta foliage um, every single fall. And then I leave stuff up like sedum. Sedum's a beautiful thing to leave up because usually the stems are really strong and it can provide a little forage for wildlife. But anyway, I just find the hedge trimmer a really, like, a really nice way to do a lot of garden work. And, you know, I just wanted to show you these tools mainly because I find that when you use the right tool, it just makes your job so much more pleasant. And if your job is pleasant, you'll like, a gar you'll like gardening a whole lot more, especially when the weather isn't like cooperating. As long as it doesn't seem extra hard because your tools are junk, um, it just makes it better. So those are my tools that I always have in my cart. And like I said, it does vary depending on the time of year. Like in summer, I won't have the leaf grabbers or the rake in here typically, but I will have my irrigation organizer and my all my irrigation tools because I'm constantly adding more drip tubing somewhere. Uh, and you know, this kind of varies too. Like if I find something that I like better, I'll kick something out and put something else in here. Um, so I would love to know what you guys like. Like what tools do you use that you find super handy that you always have with you all the time? Um, it would be really interesting to see what everybody thinks. And I think we could all learn something probably by, I don't know, just learning about somebody else's experience and how they've made it easier. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We will put links for all of this stuff down uh, below in the description. So if you wanna check anything out, you can do that. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye.